court has considered uh, the evidence it received this morning in addition to the exhibits uh, that were admitted into evidence and did read the declarations and other documents that were submitted in this matter between the time of the filing um, up through uh, prior to today's hearing. <clears throat> a restraining order is a blunt instrument, not well suited to resolve the issue you two are having. My options are limited in this case, is to grant or deny the restraining order. As you both admitted in your final remarks, uh, there may be other claims you have against each other, but those are certainly not before me today. The, require, the law requires me to decide this case uh, based on a clear and convincing standard of evidence. While that's not the highest burden of proof in the law, that would be uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not the lowest burden preponderance of the evidence. It's the same burden that I use in deciding whether or not to remove children from their parents or terminate parental rights. It is a, also a very different burden uh, than is used to grant any temporary restraining order, which is actually the lowest burden of proof in the law. I tell you this so that you understand what the evidence what the standard is, I have to apply to the evidence that the court received today and to know that I took an oath to follow the law in making my decision. The uh, test under California Code of Civil Procedure, CC, California Code of Civil Procedure 527.6 requires that the court, by that burden, I give here evidence of unlawful violence, a credible threat of violence, or a course of conduct that is a pattern composed of a series of acts over a period of time that serves no legitimate purpose. I was, uh, the other element also requires that the law by that same, excuse me, the law requires under that same burden that uh, there is a reasonable likelihood that the acts complained of will be repeated in the future. Under California law, restraining order should never uh, be used as punishment for past acts, nor be exercised in the absence of any evidence establishing the reasonable probability that the acts will be repeated in the future. At uh, this time, after considering the evidence, uh, the, court does, uh, the court finds that the petitioner, Mr. Viaputua, has not met his burden of proof to establish those two elements, and at this time, the temporary restraining order will be dissolved and the matter will be dismissed without prejudice. Thank both parties for their respect and decorum in court today. I wish you both the best of luck at this time the court's in recess. Thank you. Thank you.